I'm back with Dr. Alvarez, and I just wanted to ask him a few more questions, specifically about targeted therapies and the change that uh, um, treatments are changing because of this of targeted therapies. Can you explain a little bit what targeted therapies are, and then uh, what is happening in the research that's uh, changing the treatment of gynecologic cancers? Well, 30 years ago, we only knew cancers based on the site of origin, like ovarian cancer, or uterine cancer, lung cancer, colon cancer. Um, now, over the past uh, 30, 20 years, really, we've had an explosion of technology that's allowed us to be able, be able to understand these cancers at the basic molecular level. What are the genes that are abnormal? Which are the ones that are driving the cells to become more cancer-like? And so, um, with that discovery, we've been able to identify pathways that we think are, play a critical role in the development of cancer. And so we are trying our best to be able to not only utilize chemotherapy, which has been uh, fairly effective in managing many of these cancers, but also use these various targeted therapeutics to be able to target those specific pathways so that perhaps we can inhibit the cancer process in uh, patients who are affected by gynecologic cancers and many of the other types of cancers. Most of this research is happening in clinical trials. Can you just give a brief overview of what the clinical trial process is and then uh, how women get involved in that? Well, a clinical trial process is critically important to the developments that we've already had in gynecologic cancer. We're fortunate enough to have uh, a major cooperative group in gynecologic cancer, and there's, and the, we're in the midst of restructuring the cooperative group system, but nevertheless, it's very important that we maintain such an infrastructure so that we can continue to make progress in gynecologic cancer. There's a number of different types of clinical trials that patients c should investigate depending on their disease, and uh, they represent really where the cutting edge of care is in many of the cancers that we take care of. Uh, often we hear that women are scared of clinical trials because they're afraid they're going to get the placebo effect, and that they'll have the placebo and have no treatment. Can you uh, speak to those women and, and put their heart to rest that they're actually getting the care they will need? Well, ver clinical trials vary. Some do involve experimental therapies that have not yet been tested. Some involve um, some placebo where the standard of care is really not to get an additional treatment, and they're comparing whether or not adding a new treatment will actually improve the outcome compared to the standard of care where a placebo would be applicable. But nevertheless, I think the most important thing that women can do is to talk to their doctors about clinical trials and try to demystify the clinical trial process. I think on the whole, when you look at clinical trials, and not all patients uh, are right for clinical trials and not all clinical trials are right for the individual patient, but it's important to have that discussion so at least patients will understand what all their options are and they may be getting access is something that may actually improve their outcomes. Last question. What excites you as a physician? Um, and maybe you could go two different ways. One is a physician, one is a president of SGO. What are the things that, that you go, this is, if this one thing happens, this is what is most exciting to me about uh, what's happening in gynecologic cancer treatment right now? Well, I'm fortunate enough to now be getting a little bit older to be able to see the progress that we've made, at least during my 25-year career, and nothing excites me more than to see patients uh, you know, uh, realize the advantages that we've made over the past 25 years. But quite frankly, I think our best years are ahead of us, and I'm looking forward to leading the society forward and collaborating with many other organizations that have at their interest, too, that we see the lives of women with gynecologic cancers improve. And um, it's the possibilities are just mind-boggling for what we can achieve if we work together uh, and uh, try to move forward and, and see these advances that we've seen in molecular biology and new treatments, et cetera, come to realization, uh, come to fruition in terms of realizing their full potential as treatment options for patients with gynecologic cancer. Thank you very much. Great.